Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Okay, right out the gate here, I want to acknowledge that starting a couple hours ago, XRP price started tanking to the downside, but that's not because there's something wrong with XRP. In fact, Bitcoin started tanking and the rest of the market, including XRP, followed to the downside. Now, we let a little bit of time pass, and at least as of the time I'm recording this, we have seen a bit of a move back to the upside. I'll show you the charts. Uh, this is not something to be worried about. We, look, in times like this, when we're in a bull market, you, know, you don't go against that trend. If you do, generally speaking, it will be to your peril. <laughs> like we are trending to the upside dramatically with no clear indicators that we're anywhere close to a top. Uh, so I'm going to share with you some uh, perspective on that, as well as uh, some thoughts from a number of chart analysts specifically talking about XRP, including one who shows a chart indicating that XRP, quote, looks eerily similar to 2017, end quote. And we know what happened in 2017. Oh, yes, that was face melt season, the greatest XRP face melt in the history of XRP face melts. But before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say, right? I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun, damn it. And if you don't like it, well, you can just get out. Now, at the time I'm recording this, it is, in case anyone's curious, 1.11 p.m. Central Time, Tuesday, March 12th, 2024. XRP currently at 69.1 cents. Bitcoin at $70,978. But what happened a couple days ago? Or not a couple days, a couple hours ago. Because again, uh, well, now it's 1.12 p.m. Central Time. If you go back to, it was, I think it was about 11.05, just looking on live coin watch here. Yeah, it's called about 11.05 a.m. this morning, central time, my time zone. Uh, move to the downside for XRP. Look at this. And then a bit back up. So bottomed at, uh, looks like 66 and a half cents roughly. Now look at the Bitcoin chart though. Look at, look at uh, 11.05 p.m. That's where it started, to the downside. Bottomed at sixty-eight thousand nine hundred thirty-two bucks, according to Live Coin Watch, and then it's it has bounced back to the upside since then. Now I'm just going to alternate back and forth between these two charts, and you can see from where I just highlighted. Look at the tail end of those charts from eleven oh five a.m. onward, where I just highlighted. That's the same damn formation, exactly. This is not a problem with XRP. XRP followed Bitcoin, as is always the case. And it's holding above key support. I mean, all sorts of analysts have been saying to watch for, you know, roughly 66 cents. It could deviate slightly, you know, depending on which analyst you're talking to, but about that. And at least to this point, it certainly has. Um, but um, I, I shared this post actually last night in anticipation of something like this. Not that I literally knew this exactly was going to happen. Of course, I didn't. But pullbacks happen. Duh. Uh, even in bull markets. And so I simply wrote the following at 1219 a.m. Central Time. Yes, XRP is clearly a part of this crypto bull run, despite the fake wisdom of tribal fools who insist it won't perform. That said, it won't go up in a straight line. Pullbacks are normal. That's true of all coins. And so again, I didn't know what was going to happen this morning. I just know these things happen. And less than 12 hours later, we got it. And it wasn't even anything crazy, to be honest with you. I just wanted to address it, but it was, it was really, honestly, not particularly crazy. There's so much strength in this market led by Bitcoin. It's what you want to see. It's fantastic. There's no reason to be anything but excited so far as I'm concerned. Uh, here was on-chain analytics firm Santiment recognizing this. They shared this post at 12.33 p.m. Central Time. Uh, after the market started to tank a bit, they wrote, Volatility... And by the way, they have a laughy emoji. I wanted to mention that in case, you know, you're not looking at the screen because they just think this whole thing's silly. Just they, they know, they know. Like they've, they've been in this game a hot minute. Like they understand how the humans behave. And so they wrote, volatility is extremely high in crypto with Bitcoin reaching as high as $72,700 yesterday and dipping to $68,900 moments ago. 30 minutes before this drop, we saw a major FOMO signal as reflected by calls related to buying and other bullish keywords. And they, they, they cite that on the chart here. And isn't that funny? When people get a little bit bullish there, like the opposite of what they want to happen frequently happens. Like if, if it's what the masses are thinking, it's just kind of, and I know that's like on a, a really micro scale there. But um, because if you look on, um, you know, what's been happening in recent weeks, like you're still seeing, as I'll show you in just a second here, what you're actually seeing 
um, you know, in a longer time frame than this, but still what would be considered a shorter time frame, you're still seeing people shorting this market. Who is that insane? Like, why are you going against the grain? Like, you're in a bull market and you want to fight the trend? That is insanity. And there's so much data historically to indicate that is a stupid move. S-T-O-O-P-I-D, stupid. Here's a post from Crypto Insight UK. And this is at 11.35 a.m., so a half hour after XRP and the rest of the market started going down. And he simply wrote, I'm bidding XRP here. <laughs> Golf clap for Crypto Insight UK. He's like, oh, you idiots are uh, making the market bleed? Okay, I'm going to buy here. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> and then he had chart analyst C-grade crypto respond to that and wrote 66.56 cents. It, 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 indicating, obviously, you know, at an, an important level, as I mentioned just a couple minutes ago. Which, at least at the time I'm recording this, you know, knock on wood here. I think I just startled my dog. Sorry, my pet Peeve's under the desk and I started knocking. She's like, Whoop! <laughs> She looked up at me. <laughs> Sorry, Peeve. Uh, but yeah, knock on wood, you know, we're, we're, at least we're above it at this moment. Uh, and then here you have a post from chart analyst JD at 11.55 a.m. So, you know, about 50 minutes after this uh, market decline started, which again is not even a major decline, although major ones can happen, even in bull markets. But he wrote, um, he shared this XRP price chart and said, another XRP chart. Let's minus the news, I'm sorry, the noise slash news and focus on the TA slash charts that called the bottom with exact precision broke out three-year triangle with a textbook retest? Dumb money won't get it because they knew what they held with 1x missing out on their life-changing gain. Yeah, and indeed it is funny that there's so many people that in recent weeks decided to bow out of their XRP positions. And more power to them. I'm not going to tell anyone ever what they should or shouldn't do. I'm not pretending to be some sort of financial whiz. I don't have a financial background. I'm just a dude on the internet named Moon Lambo. Like, you don't want to take financial advice from a guy on the internet named Moon Lambo. You don't even know if I'm wearing pants. You do not know my current pants situation. Just saying that. Um, but uh, still, I'm just noting that a lot of people in recent weeks, they just like, take my XRP at this discounted price. And then there are a lot of people like, yes, I will purchase your fear. As always is the case. And this is the worst time historically to be selling. As I've been highlighting so much, I'm sorry if I'm bashing you over the head too much with this in recent weeks though, but it's like, it is that important. And I want to make sure people hear it. You can look at the XRP dominance chart in recent weeks. You can, it looks dismal, right? XRP BTC is looking dismal in recent weeks. XRP USD, not so hot, right? Especially compared to other coins. Historically, that is what happens before XRP launches. And we saw, I think the first little taste, you know, little nibble there yesterday. Here's a post from Altcoin Daily. And just for historic reference, I think it's worth just sharing this as a reminder, especially given what we just saw this morning. He says, be ready for big dips, even in a bull market. 30% to 40% dips are not uncommon. Look how it popped back up. And so he's got this dart, a chart rather, a dart, chart going back to, you know, middle of 2015, roughly. And here you can see starts pointing at major dips as there were some, there's some serious climbing going on in 2016 into 2017. Look at these major pullbacks, 38, and this is Bitcoin right now, 38%, another 38%, 33%, 38%, 36%, down 29% over a span of, you know, over, you know, call it over a year. Uh, yes, this is historically normal, even in bull runs. Absolutely. And so what we got today, at least to this point, as of, as of the time I'm recording this, is a minor one. Really not big at all. Uh, here's a post, and I'm just going to briefly mention this. It's about CPI. I, in a market like this, I don't think, <laughs> there's so much strength, I don't think it really matters, and this wasn't really that big a news anyway, so I'm just going to be brief on it, but CPI, neighbor, uh, CPI numbers came in today, Consumer Price Index, a uh, little hot, as Crypto Insight UK points out here, he says, CPI comes in slightly hot, 0.1% higher than expected. In an uptrend, I don't think this will change anything. I presume we continue up soon. My earlier post remains unchanged after this reading. Yeah, so I, I think it's inconsequential. I think that there are other factors that are of much greater importance that we've been discussing here on this channel and in the broader crypto community recently. Just, just mentioning it. That's it. We shall move on now. Uh, here's a post from Crypto Caesar, popular chart analyst. He says, uh, shorts up 68% in four hours. These will be squeezed again. Never learn, do they? And now, mind you, this is at 10.53 a.m., so you know, about 12 minutes before Bitcoin started tanking to the downside, but that was small. I suspect that uh, anybody in short positions, uh, 
you know, nine times out of ten here, maybe maybe even more than nine times out of ten in a, in a moment of a cycle like this, you're going to get effed. Like, you are going to be wrecked, R-E-K-T. That's how you spell it in crypto. Uh, you're going to be liquidated. Ain't going to go so well. Don't fight the trend in a bull market. It's very clear we are not at the end of this thing. Barring some sort of global catastrophic black swan event, I can't imagine that's what's probable. And so we keep seeing this. And also, you know what else we see at the end of cycles? All the people that were shorting, they stop shorting finally. They're like, oh, fine, I give up. I guess, I guess it really is going to keep going. They start longing at the height of a market cycle. Idiot sticks. But that is what you continually see. So the fact that people are still shorting it, frankly, while it's stupid, that, that is one more thing to consider because that's the behavior you expect well before we hit a cycle top. This is how humans behave again and again and again. It's completely absurd. But hey, we're like little biological machines. It just, it is what it is. Here's a post from popular chart analyst Bob Lucas. Shared this with his 266,000 followers on X. It's a Bitcoin price chart. And he said, Bitcoin is showing us a blow-off type four-year cycle, not a diminishing returns type. Also showing a left translated cycle, meaning top before December, is real if this doesn't cool off. Unless we get a six-month consolidation, uh, $70,000 to $100,000, which would be the yellow line on a screen, uh, to build into a super cycle. And so what he's basically acknowledging here when he says left translated cycle, he's basically talking about the theory posited by chart analyst Credible Crypto over four years ago. It's this, it's this idea of a, a longer cycle, basically. And, um, and I wasn't, I'm not a chart guy, so I wasn't familiar with that term until recently, but I came to find out that's what it means when they're talking about left tra translated cycle without getting into the nitty gritty, just to understand that's the idea that they're getting at. Uh, so if that is indeed the case, uh, you're not going to see six months of consolidation for Bitcoin where it's between $70,000 to $100,000, which you perhaps would have expected in previous cycles. But, you know, if, it, if, if the strength doesn't cool, cool down here, if it just if it keeps going full bull mode, uh, he, he will say, yes, that's an indication of a less left translated cycle. And then in that instance, says, uh, yeah, the top's going to be in 2024, not 2025, which destroys the four-year cycle narrative. We already broke the stupid-ass uh, having narrative, which was always bogus anyway. That was very clear before, uh, you know, even before we got an all-time high in Bitcoin prior to it. It's just a narrative that Bitcoin maxis like to say because it gives them warm feels inside, I guess. I don't know, but it's just not based on logic, reason, data. It's just, there's, there's, there is not sufficient evidence to support that. In fact, there's evidence to the contrary, which I've highlighted many times on this channel. Uh, then there's this post from Chart Analyst Credible Crypto. This is a Bitcoin price chart, and he shared this this morning, 3.11 a.m. Central Time. We got a nice multi-thousand dollar move to the upside on Bitcoin as expected from my last post. Below are updated thoughts on current Bitcoin price action. Not expecting any major dip slash corrections as all metrics are still relatively cool and not overheated. Simply expecting some further chop solidation which should set the stage nicely for continuation of this near vertical advance. So, um, again, he said not expecting any major dips or corrections. And we, we didn't get one today. Not, not to this point, anyway. Uh, what we just saw, it was very short-lived. It was very minor. Um, and you, th this stuff just happens. And he's expecting the continuation of the near-vertical advance. If this is to happen, what do you think that means for XRP? Because to dumb this down as much as possible, I've been saying it in very simple terms recently. The asset class moves in tandem. It's led by Bitcoin. XRP is part of the asset class. Therefore, if Bitcoin number go up, XRP number go up. There you go. You know, you don't got to be some sort of rocket scientist to recognize that. Here's another post from Chart Analyst Credible Crypto on XRP. And he's showing an XRP BTC chart here. Still in the position on XRP from below and just added to it for a third time averaging up. And I'll pause to note that was at 12.38 a.m. Central Time before we saw the most recent dip. And um, in the post, I don't need to pull up, I've highlighted it on the channel before, but it was from March 6, and he just highlighted that he was longing XRP. Like I think it was like a 10x. Um, let's just say bullish on XRP, credible crypto is, yes. And then he wrote, uh, XRP BTC and XRP, ET, uh, XRP ETH both just printed and confirmed bullish divergences on the D3. That window of outperformance that I discussed in my last video update on XRP, and then he shares a link, uh, might be around the corner. 
Well, it's coming again. I, I don't pretend to know when, but yes, if the asset class keeps going up, XRP being a part of the asset class, yes, we'll continue to move to the upside. It will hit a new all-time high in enterprise discovery. That's my belief anyway. I do not know for sure. I could be wrong. It could go to zero fine. I don't believe that is remotely probable. I think what's most probable, just my uh, humble opinion as a regular Joe Schmo here, is that yes, it does hit a new all-time high. Why the hell wouldn't it? The market has already told you for over 10 years that it makes sense for XRP to be in the top 10 coins by market cap. And there are only three coins on the planet that have always been in the top 10 by market cap their entire existence, which would be Bitcoin, ETH, and XRP. That's it. Out of over 20,000 coins in existence, those are the three. But what? Bitcoin's get, it hit a new all-time high and ETH undoubtedly is going to hit a new all-time high, but not XRP? Get the hell out of here with that nonsense. That's what I say. <laughs> Uh, somebody uh, somebody named Ananas wrote to Crypto Insight UK and said, curious what caused XRP to suddenly bounce up, referencing the bounce, of course, yesterday. Crypto Insight UK simply wrote, people are searching for a narrative, but historically, this stage of the cycle has been where XRP has performed well. And that is spot on. And, what, and I was highlighting this in a video last night. You will always find when XRP goes up or down in some sort of notable direction, whatever is happening in the moment, well, that must be the reason. But the truth of it is, it's typically just organic movement in markets. People just do what they're doing and they see what other people are doing and they react to it. And it's not some sort of actual development pertaining to the XRP ecosystem or news about any developer building on top of the blockchain. It, it almost it, it never, not with Ripple, certainly. So it, it is what it is, but you will always see people seek to assign some sort of narrative. It's almost never true, though. Here's a post from chart analyst Miles G Investments. XRP breaking out of a three-year macro resistance confirmed. And this is an XRP price chart on your screen. And he says, $2 will be the first target of this pump. Main target, $6 to $7. Well, I'd love to see that. And um, I don't know how high XRP will go. If, if it does indeed, and nobody knows for sure, but if XRP does indeed hit a new all-time high in enterprise discovery, I have a suspicion that $6 to $7 will be conservative. So we'll see what happens here, but that sounds pretty, it's so like realistic, but more definitely more on the conservative side, if that's where he's thinking it's actually going to peak. And I hope it goes higher than that, because I'm hoping to sell some of my XRP a little bit higher than that, <laughs> at least some of it. Here's a post from chart analyst JD, and I referenced this one at the outset of the video. Talk about 2017 here. XRP, present time looks eerily similar to 2017 before it, and then he shared rocket emoji and chart go up. Dumb money would deny this chart though, lol. They are the ones who feel they miss other opportunities I've been calling and blames it on XRP. Once breakout, imagine all the narratives that will come. And so I <laughs> just realized you're not looking at the screen now. He has this chart showing um, what happened 2013 through 2017. And he notes that when it broke out of the symmetrical triangle, over 600x gain. And that was in 2017 when that happened. He's just saying, huh, this chart looks kind of samey if you look from 2017 to present, a six-year trend line. And we've been breaking out of this mofo, right? I mean, it depends on, on who's drawing the lines, but we're all we're like right there, right? And so that's why whether you're looking at, you know, an XRP USD chart, XRP BTC, XRP dominance, pick your chart. It's looking good. Now, I say good because the, the casual observer would look at that and say, that looks dismal. That looks awful. No, that's what they'd say. They'd be like, no, get it out of here. No, because they're petulant children. <laughs> I always think that's what they sound like. What do you guys think? No, I don't like it. No, I want my name no. Shut up. <laughs> but... I get it. So it looks like there's that big of a dis disparity. Well, but that's when the smart people come in, the smart money, and they're like, huh, looks like XRP's, based on all these charts and metrics, look like, looks like XRP's pretty undervalued, and they start putting money in. And then the idiots, the dumb money, start copying, and these big old green candles occur. Tale as old as time. That's always how it unfolds. So what is, is there something about an XRP green candle that will make people not FOMO in? Uh, no, history says otherwise which is why I'm so excited about this. This is going to be a blasty blast, folks. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.